In the last few months here at Langford, we've been focusing on herd health, in particular lameness in the cattle. We've had an ongoing problem and we wanted to get to the bottom of it and put a plan in action really, a long-term plan working with our vets. Initially we decided to do a whole herd approach, so we examined the feet of all the cattle, all the adult cattle on the farm and we employed a local foot trimmer to do that and then John and I analysed the uh, results of that uh, to identify what types of lesions were dominant in, in the herd and then from there we've looked at the risk factors for those various lesions and then developed a control plan to minimise the risk of, of new lesions developing as well as uh, appropriate treatment plans for, for correcting those cattle that are already lame. We turned over all the cows which was 102 cows in total and the two stock bulls and without having the figures in front of me, I think basically 30% had got various problems. The rest on, we just actually trimmed the feet up and checked them over. The main uh, lesion that we found on the farm was digital dermatitis. And the main risk factor for digital dermatitis is cattle's feet being exposed to slurry. Um, and then the bacteria survive in the slurry and cause the infection on the skin uh, just above the, the hoof on, on the animal's foot. So. Um, we can't do much more here in terms of slurry control because of the nature of the housing system. So what we've decided to do is to implement a foot bath in regime uh, where John walks all the cows through a disinfectant foot bath uh, at, at a, on a regular basis and that helps to reduce the level of bacteria, infectious bacteria on the farm and therefore control the level of the disease on the farm all being well. And are you getting many cows that are not responding to the treatment? We're down to just a handful, uh, maybe just two or three beasts now that are sort of continually lame, whereas we were probably treating 15 or 20 originally. Okay. So big, big improvement. Yeah. Cattle that are lame uh, have reduced appetites uh, and reduced cutting activity. So basically they eat less and the food that they do eat, they convert less efficiently. So it's really, in terms of live weight gain, the farmer suffers. So the animal's uncomfortable, it doesn't do as well in itself. Uh, so if it's a finishing animal it's going to take much longer to finish which is going to cost the farmer money to keep feeding it while he aims to get it to the target weight or in breeding animals it may well mean that the cow takes longer to get pregnant or produces less milk for its calf. Obviously profit wise it's going to make quite a difference because we're actually cows that were probably losing the calves because, they were, because of the lameness uh, or not getting back in calf because they weren't in good enough condition. Whereas now, what I say, we're down to just one or two individuals now that we're, we're looking at rather than the whole herd. There's been a good level of interest uh, from, from the steering group and from other farmers at the, the open meetings that we've had. Uh, I don't think there's a farm in the country that doesn't suffer from lameness from some extent, so it's always topical. Um, and uh, there's always pressure, increasing pressure probably from consumer groups and supermarkets and awareness about the welfare implications of lameness but probably more importantly from the farmers point of view as, as margins remain tight it's important for them to be as efficient as possible and you know dealing with lameness and the causes of lameness on their farm is one way that they can maximize their profitability.